Hey there, this is Katie Hunter coming to you with an application video for your Jamberry nail wraps. The first thing you're going to need are your nail wraps. You're going to need a spoon pusher if you have one. If not, don't worry about it. A cuticle pusher or orange stick. Nail clippers, a nail file, and some nail scissors. I'm using the Jamberry mini heater. If you don't have one of these, that's fine. Just use your hair dryer. So the first thing I'm going to do is take that alcohol and I'm going to swipe it on my finger to kill any germs that are currently hanging out on there. Then I'm going to take my cuticle pusher and I'm going to push back any cuticle on my nail that I can see. Now I'm doing this so that my nail wrap doesn't stick to it because it won't stick to it. Um, the wraps are designed to last for two weeks on your nails and they're not designed to stick to skin. So if it, you put it on skin it's going to come off right away because it can't form a watertight seal. So just a word to the wise, push back those cuticles. Now, I usually spend a little more time doing that, but I did it before I started the video. So I'm going to keep going. So I've taken the nail wrap off that I'm going to put on. I'm going to heat the back side just a little bit. You don't have to heat it much. You're just making it a little flexible so that you can put it on. And then I'm going to come in here with my cuticle stick and kind of place it on my nail. Now I'm not touching the back of the wrap because my fingers have oils on them and I really don't want to have any oils on the back of the wrap because that will prevent it from lasting too long. So then I just trim right above and I move right along with the other side. Same thing, cuticle stick. And give it a little heat. And then place it right on the nail. It is that simple. So I'm going to trim just above the wrap, just above my nail, I mean. So I have about this much left of the wrap, which I can use for my toes or another finger eventually. Put that back on the sheet. And my next step is I like to use a spoon pusher. So I heat it up in my heater just a little bit. And then I take my nail and I just kind of seal the edges with it to make sure that they're good and sealed because I want to have a watertight seal and I want it to last. So I do that. Then I take nail clippers and just trim off some of the excess. I'm not too worried about making this perfect because I'm going to file them down. It just makes filing a little easier if you can get rid of some of it. So I get in there get rid of what I need and then I'm pretty much done. Now I'm going to take my nail file at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to file straight down and I'm going to take off any of the excess of the wrap that's there. I did a pretty good job clipping so there's really not that much and then I'm done. So this is it. I have all 10 fingers done. Um, very very easy to do and I hope that you find it easy to do as well.